In this video I'll be showing you how to fix Overwatch 2 not working on your Windows computer. So if you're having crashing issues, freezing issues or perhaps the game just will not launch on your computer then there are a few things that you can do to fix these issues which I will show you in this video. But before we get started if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet and you do like the video then click on that subscribe button if you want to see more videos like this. So the first thing that you need to do is just simply ensure that Windows is up to date and this can be easily done by right clicking on the start menu icon, going to settings and then clicking on update and security. Next you need to click on the check for updates button. Also if you do have any optional updates available then go ahead and download and install those as well. While that's running I just want to say I will pop a link in the description below to a guide that I will do on how to fix Overwatch 2 which I will add more methods to if I come across any. So once you've updated Windows the next thing that we want to do is just also make sure you have the latest driver installed for your graphics card. So if you have an Nvidia, AMD or an Intel graphics card I will pop some links in the description below on how you can install the driver for your graphics card if you're not too sure on how. Also if you don't know what graphics card you have then you can easily find this out by right clicking on the start menu icon, going to device manager and then expanded display adapters. So you can see there that I have an Nvidia GeForce GTX 1660 Super. If your graphics card does not have a number like my AMD Radeon there because it's actually using the processor as the graphics then you can also find out more information by opening up the start menu and then typing in system information. You then need to open up system information and then like I said the processor is my graphics for the AMD so as you can see there it says processor AMD Ryzen 5 5600G which means that would be the driver that I need to look for if I went onto the AMD website to update my AMD graphics. So once you have updated the driver for your graphics card you can close all of this down and then go ahead and launch Overwatch 2 and see if that helped the issue that you were having. If that didn't fix the problem then the next thing that we want to do is just ensure you are using the high performance plan and you can check this out by right clicking on the start menu icon and then go into power options. Next you need to click on additional power settings. As you can see there I have high performance selected. If you don't see the high performance option then it will most likely be under show additional plans. You can just expand this and then select it. There is also an ultimate performance plan which is available for Windows 10 and 11 which obviously offers a lot better performance and uses even more power. However it does need to be enabled in PowerShell. So I will pop a link in the description below on how you can do this if you're interested. So the next thing that you want to do is close this down. However we want to keep the settings open. You then need to go back to the home and we then need to select gaming. Next you need to go down to game mode and you need to turn game mode either on or off. So if you do have game mode off then turn it on but the chances are you will already have this on as it's usually on by default when you install Windows. So go ahead and toggle game mode to off and once you've done that now launch the game and see if that fixed the problem you're having. Another thing that we can toggle off while we're in this area is the Xbox game bar. This can also cause problems so simply just toggle this to off as well. This will also be in the same location for Windows 11. So now that you have turned off the Xbox game bar as well, again launch Overwatch 2 and see if that helped resolve the issue you're having. If that didn't fix the problem then the next thing that you need to do is just close down settings. And once you close down the settings you now need to ensure that you don't have anything running in the background before you launch the game. So if you have programs in the background running like OBS Studio, Discord, Razer Cortex, MSI Afterburner, anything like that, close it all down and then launch the game as they could be conflicting with the game causing it to crash and not launch. Also if you have any RGB software that controls the lights and stuff on your keyboard and mouse these can also cause many problems. While we're on this subject as well if you do have any devices plugged into your computer like a microphone, a headset, a USB stick, a controller also unplug these as they could also be causing the problem. So once you've done all that then launch the game again and hopefully that will help. If that didn't help then another thing to check is to make sure no one else is currently signed into your computer and we could check this out by right clicking on the start menu icon and then going to task manager. You then need to go across to users 
and then just make sure no one else has signed in. If they are, select the profile and then select sign out. Just make sure they have saved their work before you sign them out. While we're on the task manager, another thing you want to do is go across to the startup tab and then just disable any programs within this list that you do not need to launch with Windows as one of these programs could also be causing a problem in the background. So as you can see, currently everything's disabled on my computer. But if I wanted to disable Steam, for example, I'm just going to enable it. All I need to do is right click on it and go disable. The more you disable, the better. If you do have a third party antivirus program in there, obviously don't disable that because you want your security to be running. But that also does bring me onto your security software. If it does have a game mode or a passive mode, then enable this option as also your security program could be causing the game to crash. If you do not have a game mode or a passive mode option, then try disabling your security software, just keeping in mind that you might not be protected from security threats while it's disabled and then launch the game. And if the game works, then you will need to add the game to the exception list. The next thing that we need to do is just close down Task Manager and then you need to open up the Start menu and type in msconfig. You then need to open up System Configuration we then want to go across to services and then tick hide all Microsoft services. And you then need to again go through this list and try and disable as much of the services within here that you can. The more you disable, then obviously the better. Because again, another service, for example, like an easy anti-cheat or EA anti-cheat, anything like that, could also be conflicting with the game, making it crash. So once you've done that, press apply, restart your computer, and then see if that helped and launch the game. If that didn't fix the issue, then the next thing that we need to do is just close all this down and you then need to open up the game as an administrator. So to run Overwatch as an administrator, you can either do this by finding the shortcut on your desktop and right clicking on it and go and run as administrator. Alternatively, you can go to the location of where you installed the game and then right click on the .exe and then go run as administrator as well. So see if that works, and with a bit of luck that will. If that doesn't, then the next thing you need to do is go to your documents folder, and you then need to open up the Overwatch folder. You will then see a folder that says settings. You need to right click on this folder and then go rename. You then need to add BK to the end of the folder name, and then press enter. This is now going to reset all your in-game settings for Overwatch. So you will need to change the settings again, but if you did change loads of different settings within the game, one of these settings may have been the reason why the game was crashing and not launching. So just be careful when changing the settings back if this did fix the issue. If it didn't, then you can always delete the new folder that gets created and then right click on this one and rename it back to settings. If that didn't work, then the next thing that you need to do is open up the battle.net app. Once open, you now need to select games at the top and then go to the Overwatch 2 area. Once you're in Overwatch 2, you then need to select the settings cog next to the play button and you will then see an option for scan and repair. You need to click onto this and you then need to click on begin scan. And this is now going to scan for any corrupted or missing game files. Once the scan's finished, go ahead and launch the game and hopefully that would have fixed the issue. If that didn't help, then the next thing you can do is click on the link that's in the description below to our website to see if I have added any new methods on fixing Overwatch 2 crashing. And other than that, the other thing you could do is try reinstalling the game. So I hope this video helped you out and you enjoyed it. If you did like the video, click the like button below. And if you'd like to see another computer sluggish video, then click that subscribe button. If you do subscribe, then I will see you in the next video.